Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to use basic conditional formatting with an if statement in Excel 2010. So let's see, first of all take a look at what we want to achieve. In column A here I've got a list of students, in this case just by letter to anonymize the data. In column B, I've got the grade they achieved on an assignment in percentage. And then in column C, I've got two indications as to how well the class has done. Each cell um, represents, uh, tells me whether the student has passed or failed. The pass mark in this test was uh, 40%. So any value 40% or over will have the word pass inserted here. And any value less than 40 will be uh, have the word fail inserted here. But I also want to have color to represent uh, this as well. So in other words, any pass, I want the cell to be uh, filled in green. Any fail, I want the cell to be filled with red. So I've got a nice visual representation of how well my class did here. In addition to uh, telling me whether I've passed or failed, I've also got a colors here. And we can see here, um, uh, very quickly, uh, three students have uh, failed this particular assignment. Uh, not so easy to see this through column B. So let's go and see how we create this. So in my worksheet here, I've got in column A, my students by letter again. In column B, I've got the same grades that they've achieved in the assignment. And I'd like to, first of all, uh, get the, uh, insert the words pass or fail to uh, indicate whether a student has passed or failed in column C. And the syntax for an if statement, let's remind ourselves of that. It's in the brown box over here on the right-hand side. We type in equals if, and then there are three parts to the statement. The first part is a logical test. The second part is what we do if the value is true of that logical test. And the third part is what we do if the value is false. By way of example here, well, we want to um, um, test whether the value is a pass value or a fail value. So we say if, and we're going to use cell B2 here as our first example, is less than 40, well then if that statement is true, well then um, they, the student has failed. But if the statement is false, they will have passed. So if it's true, we insert the word fail in the cell. If it's false, we insert the word pass. So let's go ahead and put, add this into our spreadsheet first. So I'm going to click on cell C2 over here, type in equals, the word if, an opening bracket, and Excel pops up the tips here to tell me what to do. And the logical test, so I'm going to say um, cell B2 is less than, use the uh, angle bracket here, uh, 40 in this case is the uh, pass mark that I've chosen. Very important you put in a comma. And I want to put in the word fail here if that uh, value is true. So type in fail uh, surrounded by inverted commas, comma, and then inverted commas again, and the word pass, um, closing inverted comma, and closing bracket. So that's just what we have in the syntax statement on the right hand side. So that should then show us that uh, this particular student has passed. I'm just going to put this value in the center of the cell. And I want to just uh, now copy this value down to all the other cells in my spreadsheet. So we can see here um, that any value greater than 40 has the word pass inserted in the cell beside it, and any value less than 40, there are three of them here as you can see, uh, has the word fail in there. But I'd also like to have the cell colored to indicate um, um, whether the student has passed or failed. Now I could of course do this manually, but I want to use conditional formatting. So to do this, I'm going to click on, click on cell C2, and in the home ribbon, over in the middle of it here, there's the conditional formatting drop-down menu. So I'm going to click on that. And there are many options in here, but I'm going to choose the first one here, Highlight Cell Rules. And I'm going to scroll down to Text That Contains, because my cell contains the words Pass or Fail. So I'm going to click on Text That Contains here. And this brings me up the Text That Contains small window. And so I'm going to have a cell that contains the word Pass. I want to make that filled in green. So I'm going to type in the word Pass here. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to click on the down arrow here and I'm going to choose custom format. And uh, in the format cells option here, I'm going to click on the fill tab and I'm going to choose the bright green color down here for, as the background color to fill in this cell. We see what the color looks like. Click OK and click OK again. So I can, now we can see that the cell is formatted in green because the word pass is in it. So now I want to copy that uh, conditional formatting rule down to my other cells here as well. If I click outside, we can see that any cell that contains the word pass is highlighted in green. Now to get the words, the cells containing the word fail uh, to show up in red, we do almost exactly the same thing. So I'm going to click on cell C2. Once again on the home ribbon, choose conditional formatting. Select highlight cell rules and choose the text that contains option. 
This brings up the same window as before. This time I want to type in the word fail. And I want my, on the right hand side, I'm going to select the down arrow and choose custom format. And this time I'd like my fails to be highlighted in red. So I'm going to choose the red color here. Uh, and because black text is hard to read on red, I'm also going to change the font uh, to white here. So I click on the font tab, uh, choose the color option and select the theme color of white here. And then click on OK and click on OK in the text that contains window again. Now, no changes occurred here because, of course, uh, the cell C2 contains the word pass. But if I now copy that conditional formatting down uh, to the last value, you can see that it copies the conditional formatting to show up the fail in red. My pass is still staying green, and now my fails are in red. So if, they say, for example, I go to a, a value in here and change, let's say change that uh, value in cell B7, which is 45, let's change that to 35, assuming I've made a mistake. Well, then the um, pass fail indicator on the right hand side will change to the word fail and highlight itself in red. So let me just reverse that mark uh, change there. So that conditional formatting uh, combined with an if statement is a handy way to give you a visual representation of how your data are looking. So that's how you combine an if statement with conditional formatting in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.